December 26th, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Okay. Maya! Hey, Nick, it's you! I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth made it through the day, okay? It's a relief! Hey, why'd you do that, anyway? I don't know. I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. Just behave from now on, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah, because saving our lives in the trial is utterly unacceptable. We can't have you misbehaving, woman. Okay. <laughs> Women shouldn't be allowed to talk in court. Okay, whatever. Questioning. Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. Detective Gumshoe was here just now. He said, seeing as this is your first offense, we'll let you go after questioning. Whew. Oh, and he wanted me to get bail money ready. You can pay for me, okay? Huh? How much? I don't know. I guess they'll send you a bill or something. Why do I picture giant bales of money every time I hear the word bail? <laughs> I think everybody kind of pictures that, but any luck with Mia? None. I can't get through to her at all. I tried. I really did. I don't know what to do. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. Sounds like she really did do her best. I should check and see if there are any waterfalls in the local area. I wonder if I'll ever see my sister again. Yeah, you will. I'm sure it'll happen again in the second game. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to um, the Gord Lake entrance, I guess. Yay! December 26th, Gord Lake Park entrance. There are fewer than there were yesterday, but the cops are still around the park. Wonder if Detective Gumshoe is here today. Okay, nothing we can do here. How about the public beach? Anybody here? Except for the samurai dogs? Public beach. Haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably off paying through the nose on a date with his with the lovely Kianse. <laughs> uh hold on, is there anything here? Or be geez. Anybody at all? Jeez, this is the most boring episode ever. Oh, there we go, finally. Hey, Detective Gumshoe. Hey, pal. The trial today, you dear... Yes? What about the trial? Well, I was gonna say good show, but it wasn't really all that. Though you did save Edgeworth, I guess. Oh, you shut up, Gumshoe. Like, you could have done any better. I just wasn't sure how to thank you, you know? Er, thanks. Alright, well, let's talk. Tomorrow's trial. Detective Gumshoe. Any idea what strategy Von Karma is planning for tomorrow? It sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Another witness? Oh, right, he said something about that in the trial today. There will be... I mean, there were two witnesses! Oh. Okay. Why can't they just say, oh yeah, he said something about having two witnesses? Why can't they just say that? You gotta have a... Literally a one second flashback. Okay, whatever. I was wondering who that other witness was. Or who was it? So, sorry, pal. As much as I'd like to, I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. Right. Alright, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Oh, right. I wanted to ask you something about Edgeworth. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I never heard anything about that before. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about himself too much, see? But there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does, and him becoming a lawyer, and him being scared of earthquakes. It all started with that incident. The DL6 incident? Yep, that's the one. Fifteen years ago, when he saw his father shot before his very eyes. He still feels the pain now. You can see it in his eyes. I wanted to talk to you about Maya Faye. Huh? She's not out on bail yet? That's strange. I told him to let her go as soon as they had their report written up. Man, I don't know what would have happened if that, in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. Seeing her get dragged out by the bailiff... I'll be honest with you, pal. I shed a tear or two. Oh, Okay, whatever. Manly tears! Gumshoe's a manly man! Okay, Edgeworth. He was so moved I saw his lip trembling. Really? Hold his ice, Edgeworth? <laughs> he was really grateful for what she did, you know. I'm gonna head back to the station. I'll get the report on Maya and get her out of there as soon as I can. Thank you. Oh, wait. Um, 
I was wondering how much is bail gonna be. Don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth is posting the whole amount. What? Edgeworth? Huh. That's nice of him. Didn't I tell you? He's grateful for her to grateful to her for what she did. Alright, pal. Well don't forget to go pick her up, okay? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's rent too. Oh, <laughs> you jerk. Alright, uh is there anything out here? Doesn't No, I don't think there's gonna be anything out here. Okay. Public beach! Okay, nothing here. I'm gonna check all these other areas though. Uh, you know what? Actually, maybe we need... I'll go get Maya first. Then I'll come back and look around. Okay, detention center. December 26th, detention center. Visitor's room, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Nick, you finally came! They just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go. Free at last, eh? Those interrogators were really mean. They were like, okay, what did you do this time? Like I was some kind of criminal. Can you believe it? Well, they let you out in the end, didn't they? Mm. Oh, that reminds me. Thanks for bail. Thank Edgeworth. Huh? He posted bail for you. Said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edge Mr. Edgeworth did that? I have to make it up to him. We've got to win this case, Nick. Yeah, no kidding. We'd do it anyway. All right. Let's talk to you about random stuff. What to do. <laughs> what do you think we should do next? We're kind of lacking in the clues department. We could go to the park and look for Gordy. I, I was kidding. Still, if there are any clues out there, the park's as good as bad as any. Uh, I wonder if I just misnarrated that. Ah, I don't care. All right, what do you say? Shall we head down there? Sure. All right, any ideas? Have you noticed anything lately? Hmm. You know, I did notice one thing while I was here in detention. It's really pretty comfortable in here. It's warm and they keep it very clean. I meant, have you noticed anything about the case? Well, not much more than that, no. She's probably still upset about Mia. I should leave her alone. Alright. Even Yeah, she sounds so horribly broken up about the fact that she couldn't summon a spirit from the dead. Okay. December 20th. Yeah, yeah, we already know where we know where we are, thank you very much. There aren't any cops around here today, are they? Are there? They're probably back at the precinct working up the case against Edgeworth. Mm -hmm. Hey, y'all! Hey, hey, it's Lotta! Y'all really did it today! W what do we do now? No, I'm not complaining. See, I did a little thinking. A little self-reflection, you might say. I realize that being a witness is a mighty big responsibility. Yeah, no kidding, you idiot. The life is on the line here. But I just went up there and started blabbing any old thing that came to mind. Lotta. So, you see, I want to make it up to y'all. Make it up? Make it up! Oh, okay. Today's trial. What did you think of the trial? To be honest, I was doing it half. Doing half just as... Just as say I'd been a witness. Even though I didn't really see anything. I kind of convinced myself that I had, though. I'm sorry, I know I caused y'all a lot of trouble. Well, memory is a tricky, vague little thing. Only if you have a bad one. Yeah, I sure know that now. I'll be fine next time I witness a murder. Right. You mean the first time you witness a... You mean... Oh, whatever. <laughs> God. Ugh. What about Gordy? Right. Well, the way I figure, the trail's only... St wait. The trial's only stoking the flames of Gordy fever. I'll get my exclusive photos and rocket to stardom. All right, Lotta, you go, girl. <laughs> I wish I could be an investigative photographer, too. Finish your spirit medium training first. <laughs> Making it up. Lotto, what do you mean by making it up to us? Well, you see, actually, I got a bit of information for you. What? That Von Karma didn't want me to say nothing about it. W what information? Now we're getting to the heart of it. See, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. E exchange? Um, I thought this was to make it up to us. Right! I propose a little exchange to make it up to you. Sure. What? Information don't come cheap, my friend. Yeah, inf whatever, I don't care. Uh. Hey! I see you thinking, my, how unsophisticated these southern folks are. That's a lot of exclamation points. It's written all over your face. 
Let me tell you, the most most of the southerners are way more sophisticated than you. Yeah, the sophisticated ones are that go online and do crappy impersonations of random characters and games and then upload it. <gasps> okay, anyway. I'm just the exception, okay? Oh, so you're admitting that you are unsophisticated. Well, what it would be? We gonna deal or not? We gonna... It's time to duel! Okay, what are we gonna... Uh, we're gonna duel! Whatever. We don't have any other weeds, so I don't think we have a choice here. Okay, how much? Huh? You completely off your rocker? I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the poor. Oh, what are you calling us poor? Huh? The only fair exchange for information is information. Listen good. What I need from you is information about Gordy. Whoa, whoa, whoa! G Gordy? B but Gordy doesn't... I mean, Gordy might not exist. Then bring me proof that shows he don't. Uh... I'll be keeping watch from the car, okay? You see something, y'all come to me first, got it? Uh, okay... Right, see y'all later! Ugh. Okay, Nick, let's get hunting! <laughs> hunting? You don't seriously mean... Gordy? I sure do! What about Edgeworth? We're searching for Gordy for him, Nick! Don't you get it? Okay... How exactly do we search for a make-believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist. There are no specialists in this world aside from the ones that suck at their jobs, the criminal affairs department. And that stupid little monkey thing. Alright. Hey there, pal. What's up? You look out of sorts. Wait. You didn't go and do something that's gonna hurt Mr. Edgeworth's case again. What do you mean, again? <laughs> Whatever, have a seat, pal. I'm here for you if you need anything. Besides money, that is. Oh, give me money! That's what I want. That's what I need. How about some... Oh, whatever. I don't care. Investigation. Alright. How is the investigation proceeding? It's not, really. We have another meeting coming up. We're supposed to talk about Mr. Edgeworth's motive. His motive? See, Mr. Edgeworth's father died in the DL6 incident. And the guy who got the lone suspect declared innocent was the victim in this case. Robert Hammond. They're saying that's why Mr. Edgeworth shot him. And Edgeworth never talks about his past. I bet they'll drag out what they drag that out and hit him with it in court tomorrow too. Poor Edgeworth. I, mean, I gotta admit, it doesn't look good, pal. All right, Gordy. Say, Detective Gumshoe, do you know Gordy, the monster down in Gord Lake? Not personally, no. <laughs> well, we're looking for him. Huh? Are you out of your minds? Eek! You got time to go wild monster hunting? How about you doing a little questioning for me, then? Oh! Detective Gumshoe is scaring me, Nick! <laughs> wow. I told Detective Gumshoe about the deal with Lada. Nick, try telling him sooner next time! Er, sorry. What the- Wow. So, me Maya interrupted us during our little monologue. That's kind of funny. I see, pal. Sorry for shouting at you. Okay. I, Detective Gumshoe, will aid your search for Gordy. Uh, huh? I'll loan you one of our newest secret weapons for finding evidence. Really? You can take whichever one you like. Uh, secret weapons. Okay, give us the goods. Hold on now, everything in due time. First, let me show them to you. These are our best and brightest. Introducing secret weapon number one, Missile. M -m missile He's a canine police dog, still in training. Missile, missile, here boy. Woof. <laughs> here he is. Hey, he's cute. Look, Nick, cute dog. Wow. Thank you for telling me. I can see his little profile thing right there. A cute dog. And this will help us how? Woof. Next, secret weapon number two, a fishing pole. Here, this is my own personal pole. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for a monster. Yeah. How are we supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? Never know till you try, pal. <laughs> okay, this is the last... This next one is the last one. I hope I can do this in the time limit. No, please, I'm already overwhelmed by our choices. <laughs> Secret weapon number three, a metal detector. Here. Detective Gumshoe. We're looking for something alive. Right. How are we supposed to find it with a metal detector? Hey, you never know. It might have eaten, might have been eaten soda cans. Oh, which will it be? We're going to pick the one and we're going to take in the next part. See ya.